SCP-109. Item, SCP-109. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-109 is currently located in non-critical storage unit 7 and requires no active monitoring. It should not be removed from the unit except to be transported to a research facility and then only by personnel with level 3 security clearance or higher. When replacing SCP-109, personnel should ensure that it is firmly closed and that it is placed on the modeled pedestal in the upright position. Description SCP-109 is a standard issue United States Army Canteen circa 1899 made of a tin alloy and fitted with a heavy cotton cover and a black leather strap when opened the item is seen to be nearly full of water a seemingly unlimited amount of water can be removed from the container without changing the water level or the item's mass which remains a constant 3.16 kilograms. Probes of the interior can of the container reported an estimate volume of 2.8 liters and a shape consistent with the outside. The water in SCP-109 is a slight blue-gray tint with concentrations of two of 20 ppm of tin and 170 ppm of other electrolytes. Please tell me what ppm is, please, Mr. Rackrams. Thank you. The water remains at a constant temperature of 19 degrees Celsius, but can be heated or cooled and removed to another container. Addendum 109-1. Upon the item's Delivery to Site 19. It was given the object class of safe. As tests were conducted on the item, uncertainly surrounding t- test results, promoted gem. To upgrade the object class to Euclid. Addendum 109 2. Recently, a request was filled and granted by Dr. for permission to walk an orca plant growing in his office with SCP-109 staff should be notified by that doctor this is 109 for this purpose of a small time every Friday addendum 109-3 is came to my attention that new D class personnel are often dare to attempt to empty the bottle Guards are reminded that they are to discourage such activity and inform them that 109 is bottomless. Shag Ting Chug repeatedly is considered unprofessional. Dr. Klen. Additional information. Due to the range of tests conducted on SCP-109, this section has been provided to present test results in chronicle in chronological order. Dates have been withheld for confed confederacy, I don't know. Test one. Subjects are embedded water from SCP-109. Reported that it was very refreshing and despite the metal content, very tasty. Urine samples from subjects were normal. Follow up to test one had subjects dehydrate themselves for one full day before embedding water from SCP 109. Tests remained unfinished as subjects were unable to provide urine samples. Test three subjects bathed in water from SCP 109. Subjects reported increased energy and a much improved complication complexation following the bath. Test four. St- 
Stereocorposis bacteria cultured in water from SCP-109 thrived and manipulated quickly. Water from SCP-109 administered to subjects search for the same from stereotypical infection killed nearly all bacteria and produced a full recovery within 24 hours. We could definitely use this SCP for the environment if it was real. Test 6. Water from SCP-109 administered to various plant organisms, all of which remained very healthy and showed no malogen symptoms. One promotion for a test which has been discussed for some time has been one involving a combination of SCP-109 and SCP-402. Due to the risk of losing one or both items or create a hazardous situation, the test has never been concluded. Conducted.